Okay, so now we are going to wrap our yarn around our CD. So we start on the back here and we're going to bring it around to the front and then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pinch it here in the middle. So I'm just pinching and holding. See how I have it here? But when I turn it over, when I flip it over, I can pull this yarn all the way out. It's a lot easier that way. And I am keeping it tight because I want my warp to be very tight. So I'm going to wrap it around again, bring it through. See on the other side, keeping it tight. I hold my finger here. Alright, and I've got my thumb underneath so that I can hold on to it and I can move my hand to the back and pull the yarn through. Keeping it tight the whole time. Okay, so now I've got it tight. Flip it over. Keep it tight. Bring it around. And pinch. Flip it over and pull it through. Now you want to be sure that you have an odd number of warps. So as you are wrapping your CD, you want to be counting. You don't want to end up with 20 because that's not an odd number. Wrap it around. See, I can just, don't even have to flip it over, I can feel it. One way to keep track of how many warps that you have, oops, it's kind of getting fuzzy, is to group them together by twos. So I'm going to hold on to this and keep it tight. Okay? So on this, this is the side that we want to pay attention to. We don't care about odd on this side, we care about odd on the front, on the right side of our CD. So I can group these together slide them together like this. I'm going to spread them out when I finish, but right now it helps me to count because I can count by twos. Two, four, six, seven. So after I have all my warps on there, if I have a bunch of groups of two and I have one left over, I am sure to have an odd number, right? Good old math skills are super helpful all the time. Alright, so I'm going to keep wrapping. In fact, I can just wrap it in twos if I want to. Keep wrapping until I have an odd number. We're going to shoot for 21. You can do more than 21 if you want to. Don't do less. It won't be enough of a weaving. But you can do more. You can do 23, 25, 27. It just means that your, uh, your CD will have a little more detail. It'll take you a little bit longer. But if you end up with 25, you want to just leave it. That's fine. Don't worry about it just as long as it is, what? An odd number. Okay. Okay, so now I have 
10 groups of two plus one left over. So I have 21. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. And if I want to, I can tie these two together or I can just tape it on the back or I can do both. So I'm gonna cut it off pretty long because you, know, you don't wanna make it real short. It's hard to tie if you don't leave yourself anything to work with. So I'm gonna tie mine on there, keeping it nice and tight. So I'm pulling on that. I want it nice and tight. Put my finger down and tie it nice and tight. And then you take a piece of tape, masking tape, this is scotch tape, you're going to use masking, and tape it on there, and then I'm going to cut off this, these little strings. These extra, I don't need those. Okay, so now I've got my CD wrapped. I'm going to spread my warps apart evenly. I want them to be as evenly spaced around my CD. Okay, so now at this point, it's nice and evenly spaced. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take my masking tape and I'm gonna tape it on the back. Like this one here has taped. It's not totally neat, tidy job, but it is taped around. So we're gonna do the same thing with our masking tape on the back. You notice I'm doing this on the back. Here's the front, shiny. The back might be shiny too, a little bit but it has the writing on it. There's our back. Okay, now we're gonna take your marker again and write your name again because we can't see it anymore. And home room. Okay, now we are ready to start our weaving. So we're going to choose our color of yarn. So I'm going to choose this multicolor one. You can use whatever you want. And on this yarn here, Here's the yarn coming out the end of the skein. So now this time we only need to have six feet. We don't need nine. In fact, you don't even really need six feet, but we're gonna start with six. So measure on the floor. All right, so I measured out six feet and I'm gonna cut off and leave a little tail here for my next person, I'm gonna put it in the box. And we're gonna start weaving. So to start weaving, we need to have our needle. So this is my needle here. I've got metal needles and I have some plastic needles. So whichever one you want to use is fine. So we're gonna to need to thread our needle. In order to do that, that through the eye here, we're just going to take our yarn and put it through the eye. And you can see on here, not all of it went through. So I'm gonna to have to do that again. Sometimes I have to cut off a fresh ending. See, that was kind of curly. Cut off a fresh ending Try again. Okay, so I've got it threaded through my needle and I'm going to tie a knot at the end of it. Just one knot is all I need. Okay, so I've got my, my needle and it's threaded. I'm ready to start weaving. This is we're going to, we're weaving on our loom. These are the warps, and this is actually going to be, it's called the weft. The yarn that goes through all of this is called the weft. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to tape 
this end, other end of the yarn on the back of our loom. So take this tape, tape it on the back. Okay? And I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through the center of the CD. Up through the center, pull it all the way through to start our weaving. Okay, now in weaving it is, this is going to be the yarn or the weft that's going to be the center of my CD. Whatever I start with, this is what's going to be in the center. But we can weave here on the edge and then slide it up. It's easier to weave on the edge of the CD. So to weave is very easy. You just pick a place to start and you go under and then you go over the next one, under the next one, over the next one and pull it all the way through. Okay, I've got six feet, so that's a lot of yarn to pull through. Pull it all the way. I'm getting some of this other yarn caught in it. Get out of here. All right, so I'm pulling it all the way through, snugging it up. Now I have to pay attention to what I did last time. Okay, so here I went under, so now I'm going to go over. See this one I went under, so I'm going to go over the next one, under the next one, over, under, and I can take it off the end and pull it through. Okay, and then I can just kind of snug it up there. You can check it, you can see what, you, what you've been doing here. I went over, I mean un, over it, and then I went under, went over, under, over, under. So here it is, going over. Now I'm gonna go under next one. So I just alternate over, under, pull it all the way through. Okay, and I can snug it up there. So you can see I went under this one. So I'm going to go over that one, and then under, and then over, and then under, and pull it through. And that's all there is to it. You just keep doing this until you fill it up. So here you can look and see I went I went under this one. So I'm gonna go over that one and I'm gonna go So I'm gonna go over this one and under this one. Under this one here and over and under and pull it through. Now when I get to the point of wanting to change colors. I'll show you what to do. Let's do a little bit of weaving. Now if I've done it correctly, I should notice that on this warp here, that at the first one should be over and the second one should be under. It should alternate. If this is, if these are both over, I've made a mistake. And usually it is, you can find it, it's usually like you've gone over two of them or you've gone under two of them. You can either back up and correct it or you can just leave it and start doing it correctly and it really kind of blends in. You don't really see it. I. It's up to you on how much you want to worry about it. Or you can just keep on going and then correct it as it, it'll, it'll work itself out. You also can notice that you can look at it like if I went under the last time, I'm going to go over this time. So you can kind of notice that too.
Okay, so let's say at this point I decide I want to change to a different color. So what I need to do at this point is I would get, I would take about this much, oh, five, six inches. How can I show you that? There you go. Five, six inches of yarn. Cut that off, leave that much. And however much, or let's say I'm going to put in some, I wanna put in some blue. So I get my blue and let's say I'm gonna measure out, oh, maybe four feet. I, maybe I don't want a whole lot of blue. So I'm just gonna cut off the new blue yarn. So I've got a stretch of about four feet of blue yarn. And all I have to do is, I've got that thread, that yarn there. I'm gonna just tie my new yarn onto my old yarn. Now it's helpful to do a square knot at this point. If you know what a square knot is, a square knot is a really handy knot to learn. So I'll show you real quickly. And I also have a video that shows how to do a square knot. You can do any kind of knot, a square knot is, is the best. So it may, basically means this right yarn goes over the left one and the right yarn or the blue yarn is gonna twirl around back. And then the same yarn is gonna go on top of the other yarn and go back behind. Okay, that was pretty fast. But I've got a video about square knots. But any kind of knot you use will be fine. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry about these strings hanging off here when I'm weaving. After I'm done with my weaving, at the very end, I can tuck those in. So now I've got to re-thread my needle because my needle is still attached to my old yarn. So I just cut it off and I'm going to re-thread it through the eye of my needle. There we go. And tie it onto the end. So how did I do that? Here, got this yarn and I lay it over the top of my long piece. See how it's laid over the top? And it goes back behind and through. Okay, let's do that one more time. Goes on the top. Let's see if I can get this. Lays on the top, goes behind it, and through. If you want to do that again, double knot it, you can do that. Okay, so I've got this tied on, my new string, my new yarn, and I just start weaving where I left off. Went under here, so I'm gonna go over on this one, and under, and over. Now every once in a while, when you are weaving, you might accidentally go through this warp, and if you do, if it's a tiny, tiny little bit, we can fix it. If not, you kind of have to back up. But you'll notice it because you won't be able to slide it up. That's why it's important to always slide your yarn up each time so you can catch it if you've accidentally gone through the warp and, and then you can't slide it because it'll be caught out here and you have to back up. So keep on weaving. Okay, so I've got these yarns here that are kind of in the way. I'm just gonna pull them back. I don't wanna cut them off really short right now because then that knot will come undone. So I just want them out of the way. And I will weave them out of sight later on when I'm finished. I'm 
Now, sometimes your, your weaving kind of gets lopsided. Maybe you pull on one side harder than the other. And you can push it around to try to keep it um, even as a circle. Okay, be careful not to pull too hard. If you pull really hard, it's distorted. You don't have to pull, you don't want it to be pulling underneath, you know, and uh, stressing it out. So don't pull real hard. Just snug it up just to where it sits up there nicely, but don't, don't pull too much. And that's all there is to weaving. You just keep on going until you fill the CD up. Change colors as often as you want to. You can do it every single row a different color if you want to. Or you can use a multicolor yarn. Don't be afraid to try some of the fuzzy yarns that I have that are metallic yarns. You can even, I've got some beads, you can even slide a bead through your needle and put it inside your weaving. So if you want to go look at some of the beads, I think that would be super fun to do. So I've got, got those out on the blue table. Feel free to add beads wherever you would like. All right, have fun with your weaving. Can't wait to see it.